Well, hello there, everyone. Hopefully you're doing outstanding. Today is Monday, October 24th, year 2022. My goodness, where does time fly by to? Seems like I was just 17 years old. Of course, I'm only 18, right? 18 years old right now. Anyway, I'm Maskey Finance. Please subscribe. Please like all my videos. Please feel free to comment below. And remember, as always, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a CPA. CPA, I'm not an attorney. I still do not have internet service at my house, okay? So I'm gonna keep this shorter. But here's the topic. How do you buy your first rental house? This could be if you're 20 years old, 40 years old, 60 years old, 25, whatever. Whatever age you are, because we're all in different stages of life. First of all, the easiest way to do, because this is gonna be a brief video, I'll put a link below, just like I did yesterday, there's an article about um, on Business Insider about me, and that article I link below talks about how I went from zero to 25 rentals in four years. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, four years, just under four years, right? Yeah, four years, I'm drawing a blank this morning. Um, but it doesn't go into detail. I use def different techniques, okay? The way I got started, I'll tell you this briefly, I used, my personal residence was paid off. I paid it off in 17 years. I got a small HELOC for $30,000. The bank would have given me a much larger HELOC. I refused, I didn't want it. I wanted a small HELOC. I didn't want to go into that much debt with a HELOC on my personal house. I got a HELOC for $30,000. I used approximately 17,000 of that as an assistance on the, my first down payment. I had some cash I used um, to fulfill the down payment, okay? Because I put 25% down on my very first rental house. Nowadays, then I went to 20% down. Now I use non-QM lenders and I have to put 25% down again. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Others like Millennial Mike out there, he decided he wanted to get a rental property and he wanted to buy a duplex. And he was working as a state trooper. And he then started working as much overtime as he could, saving up as much money as he could so he could afford his down payment, okay? Other ways you can do it, people start working other jobs, they work overtime as much as they can. They work side hustles, side gigs. The point is, all of us who are working Americans can buy our first rental house. You have to want it. That's the hardest thing. You have to want it. You have to motivate yourself. You have to realize you're going to have bad days. You're going to have good days. You're going to have tenants that will destroy your house. You will have tenants that will not pay you but you will also have the majority of your tenants pay you who will not destroy your property. But with that being said, you may draw the unlucky straws where your first two houses you get, both tenants you need to evict. You may buy your first 10 houses and not evict anybody. You just don't know. But if you want to buy your first rental, it's up here. You have to mentally want it you have to focus you have to learn as much as you can while you're earning that income to fund the down payment okay you need a decent credit score so you need to fix your financial picture for yourself all right i'm not going to cover detail about this i'm keeping this short but you need a decent um, credit score you need to find a lender to use because it's better to use a lender versus paying cash it's better to leverage your money you get a higher return than paying cash to buy your property, okay? So with that being said, we're at almost four minutes. I wanna keep this video short because it took me an hour to upload my seven minute and some second video the other day. So this will be short. But if you want to buy your first rental house, by golly, buy it. Don't let anything stop you. Go back and find my zero to 25. I got a playlist, zero to 25 rentals in four years. It's four videos. I better detail how I bought my rentals. If I can do it, as I say all the time, if I can do it, so can you. All right, so with that being said, Maskey's signing out.